Welcome back to the Ticket Demo Series. In today's session, we're going to focus in on how an end user can send a direct message in Microsoft Teams over to an agent, and then how that agent can receive any message from an end user and turn that message into a ticket. On the left hand side here, we have Adele. She's my end user, and she's going to be the one submitting requests. And on the right hand side here is Diego. He's my agent, and he's going to be receiving those requests from the business. Now, Adele's walked in this morning and her computer is running slow, so she's going to go find someone in IT and go ping them directly in Microsoft Teams. Now, when Diego receives this Microsoft Teams message, uh, he'll travel over to the chat area like he normally would. And when he has a message in focus that he wants to work against, he now can right click that message. And because he's an agent that has ticket installed, he can now do three actions against that message. And the first is that if there's content inside that message uh, that's worth sending up to the knowledge base, maybe saving for a later time uh, and creating that in draft mode to make available later to either end users or agents, you can do that directly from a message. Uh, you can add that message to an existing ticket or you can create a ticket in ticket, which is what we're gonna do here. Now when we create a ticket, uh, from a message, we're brought into the ticket creation experience. And what you're gonna see here is a couple of pieces of data are brought over from the actual message. So the first is Adele's made the requester because she sent us a message. Uh, the actual message is brought over as a request title. Uh, Diego can choose to append this, he doesn't have to, um, but if he feels like he needs to update it, he can. And then this is his opportunity to set any of the properties of the ticket here. Uh, so if we want to change the status, uh, he could. Um, the type of ticket from an incident to a service request. If we want to change the priority. Uh, he has the opportunity to do that as well. He also has the opportunity to send this to a different team in Microsoft Teams. Ticket supports this concept of a multi-team, multi-department experience. And you have the ability to deploy a ticket to any team, which effectively turns that team into a support organization that allows for that team to work on tickets in their own respective service desk. And if I were in HR, if I were in finance, I could pick off a message and send that to my respective team by reassigning this ticket to that team. Now this is an IT ticket, so I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'll go ahead and submit this ticket. Ticket 3319 was just created. And once created, what you're gonna to start to see on both sides of the screen our notifications are going to start to surface. And this is typically where I would pause and talk about Ticket and Teams uh, just for a moment. So Ticket and Teams is 100% native. There are agent experiences as well as end user experiences. Now, on Diego's side, um, there are two places where Diego can work on that created ticket. Uh, he can first work in the Teams area. So when that ticket was created, we assigned it to the IT team and we assigned it to the service desk group. And what you're seeing here is we're associating that group to this channel. So ticket 3319 was created and assigned to the service desk group. And here is one place that Diego can work uh, on that ticket. Now, a second place that Diego can work on that ticket is inside of the ticket app. Now the ticket app is a app for agents. It's also personal to Diego. So this is a place where um, he will have the opportunity to receive updates for tickets that he's working on. He also can have a conversation with the ticket app and receive tickets back to be able to work on them as well. Now Adele has her own set of experiences. Adele's primarily going to work inside of Ticket Virtual Agent. Uh, this is the end user self-service experience within Teams. Now, this is the place where she will receive updates for tickets that she's created. She'll also have the opportunity to create new tickets, access knowledge, submit uh, forms to kick off different business processes like software requests, new hire processes, things of that nature. Both these apps, the Ticket app and Ticket Virtual Agent, are apps that sit inside of Teams Admin Center. And you have the opportunity to push these out to your agents and end users for them to receive their different experiences across uh, Ticket and Teams here. Last thing I want to mention around these apps is that they 100% work across all the Teams experiences. So they work in Teams Web, 
they work in Teams New, uh, and they also work in Teams Mobile. So as you're receiving these notifications, you'll receive Toast notifications like you would for direct messages. And then no matter where you're at, you'll click on them. It'll take you to the particular ticket to action, an update or an approval um, or things of that nature. This is where we're gonna stop this part of the session and further parts of the demo series. Uh, we will focus in on how uh, we can have a conversation between the agent and the end user and resolve a ticket like this. Um, but if you do have any questions, please email team at ticket.ai.